is that they should be filled with the Holy Spirit. Ito yung desire ng Panginoon. Sa bawat isa sa atin bilang isang mananang parataya. This should be the normal experience of every child of God. To experience the power of the Holy Spirit in your life. Now, makikita natin dito that it concerns a poor widow whose husband had been a servant of the Lord. She was now destitute. Pati po. Dahil po na kay yung kanyang asawa na meron siyang upang. Napakalirap na mamatay ka na meron kang utang. Tama po ba? Tanong sa hapon ito, sino po ba sa atin kung may mga utang dito? Abaw ayaw pa huli. <laughs> Hindi magpaano. Be honest to yourself. O, di ba karamihan sa atin, ano? Kaya minsan na uh, pinagpupost doon sa Facebook, ang sabi ay uh, uh, hindi pa nakarating yung sahod ko, ubus na. Dahil nga po yung karamihan, sinasabi ng dahil po, meron siya kutang. Diba? At kung utang yung pag-uusapan, uh, minsan napakahirap, easy yung mga utang. Pero pag nagbayad ang hirap, tama po ba? Pero iba ito sa widow woman. Yun naman na yung asawa niya, meron utang na iwan. Ang problema, wala siyang pambayad. Yung kinubuha, yung kanyang dalawang anak. Na yung magiging pambayad sa utang ng kanyang asawa. Yun po yung dapat na mabayad. So, importa, yung, yung, yung bagay dito na makikita natin, na yung dalawang anak, yung mga pambayad. Ngayon, yung ina, mahal na mahal yung anak. Wala naman siguro yung ina na yung design niya na ikapahamak na kanyang anak. Kung gusto ko na yung design ng isang ina ay yung buhay ng kanyang mga anak ay maging maganda ang buhay. Walang ina nang iisip na hindi ganda o kaya maging miserable ang buhay ng kanyang mga anak. Katulad din ito na makikita natin she go to Elisha and miraculously her little reserve of oil was multiplied and made sufficient all her need sa kanyang pagkakailangan. Kaya po rito, makikita natin, pag sinabi mong oil, it is a symbolic of the Holy Spirit. Ito po yung kailangan ng tao sa kanyang buhay. Binasa ko yung batas patungkol sa utang. At pinagaranan ko yung batas patungkol sa utang. Kahit patay ka na. Okay, akala mo ba, like for example, yung asawa mo, meron kayong properties, ano? tapos yung nakautang ng asawa mo. Tandaan mo to, hindi kayo libre sa utang. Kahit patay na siya. Bobo. Kasi yung pambayag, yung properties nyo, yun ang pambayag. Sisigilin yung utang sa'yo. Babayaran mo pa rin yan. Dahil sa akala mo, ay salamat, patay na siya. Wala na utang, libre na. Yung sa batas, hindi pwede. Kahit sa batas sa Pilipinas, hindi mo pwede matatakasan o kaya matatakbuhan yung utang. Ito ay mababayaran mo pa rin. Bibenta mo ng lahat ng properties mo at pagkatapos, yung naiwan, sa presyo ng properties mo, yung ang pupunta sa'yo. Papayaran yung lahat ng utang at walang utang na hindi mapapayaran. Kailangan bayaran ang utang aside. Aside talagang napakaano na hindi talaga yung mukha mo na hindi kapabahay na utang. Let us learn to be honest with ourselves to the Lord. Even in the sight of people, we need to be honest. Kahit sa harap ng mga tao, kailangan maging anas natin. Kasi 
sa maliit na bagay, pag hindi tayo mapagkatiwalaan. Hindi tayo mapagkatiwalaan ng Panginoon sa mga malalaking bagay. Dahil kahit sa maliit na bagay, hindi tayo mapagkatiwalaan. Kaya yung kumpahan dito, she go forward for Elisha and ask for help. Look at in verse number 3. And Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in thy house? And she said, Thy handmaid hath not anything in the house, save a pot of oil. So verse number 2, chapter 4 of 2 Kings. Kaya nga, kailangan magiging honest yung bawat mananampalataya sa harap ng Panginoon. Na wala talaga tayo sa ating sarili. Dahil ang pake, kahit sabihin mo pa, meron akong house and land. Diba? I have my wisdom, I have a lot of achievements in life, maraming mga bagay sa buhay ko. But I want you to know, ang lahat na niyan ay hindi natin pagmamayari. Ang lahat na niyan ay pagmamayari ng ating pagkino. Kaya nga po, ang sabi ng babae nito, wala ako kahit ano sa bahay ko, wala. Kaya nga, wala siya pang bahay. Bakit? Kung titignan ba natin sa ating sarili, meron ba tayo sa ating sarili? Wala. Kaya nga po, lahat ng bagay na meron tayo is only by the grace of God. Biyaya lamang ng Panginoon yung lahat na yan. Kahit yung ating kaalaman, kahit ang ating lakas, kahit ang ating properties, lahat ng bagay na meron tayo, kahit na yung ating sarili, hindi tayo nagmamayari nito. Ang nagmamayari nito ay ang ating Panginoon. She learned how to be honest. They had made had not anything in the house, save a pot of oil. And when we talk about oil, it speaks about the Holy Spirit, the emblem. If you go to the New Testament, it is an emblem. The Holy Spirit, alam mo ba kung ano meron ka? Na pinaka-importante sa buhay mo. Yan ay ang banal na Espiritu. Ang kapangyarihan na banal na Espiritu, yan ang isa pinaka-importante ng bagay sa iyong buhay. Yan ang kailangan mo. Now, we need to be filled with the Spirit of God. But how? How do we feel with the Spirit of God? Number one, we must admit our great need. We must admit our great need. Every believer is in there. Meron ka ng utang na kailangan mong bayaran. Pastor, wala akong utang ha. When you talk, you know, spiritually speaking, meron ka kailangan gawin. How great was the need of this poor woman? She possessed nothing except for one little pot of oil. Then, the creditors came and demanded payment and threatened to take away her sons. So, ano yung ginawa niya? Pocketing her pride. She admitted her emptiness and poverty to Elisha. That is in verse number two. That was her first step into blessing. What is that? You admit that you can do nothing. It speaks about emptiness. Every believer is in the in a threefold sense. And we can only discharge the debt when we are filled with the Holy Spirit of God. Number one, we owe obedience to God. We owe obedience to God. Look at in Luke chapter number 17 and in verse number 10. So likewise ye, when ye shall have done 
All those things which are commanded you, say, We are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. Yan. Pagkano ako nagkaroon na hutang sa Panginoon sa pagsunod? We owe obedience to God. How? Paano, Pastor? Alam mo kung tayo lamang sa ating sarili, wala tayong kakayahan na sumunod sa Diyos. Have you ever realized that? We don't have any strength or any capacity to obey the Lord. We need God. We need His grace. We need His strength. We need His power to obey Him. Amen? Because of our weaknesses, we are weak people. What we need is God in our lives. That the Lord will strengthen us and empower us, you know, and fill us with the power of the Holy Ghost in order for us to follow and to obey Him. Because only in ourselves, hindi tayo makasunod sa Panginoon. That's the reason why araw-araw ng buhay natin, ang kailangan natin ay ang lakas, ang strength galing sa Panginoon upang tayo ay makasunod sa kalooban ng Panginoon. Dahil kung tayo lang, ano lang ba yung sinusunod natin? Sinusunod natin ang ating sarili? Tama po ba? We cannot obey the Lord with our own strength. The reason why we owe obedience to God and God gave us a grace and obey Him because of Him, we obey Him. Because of His strength, because of His power, the reason why nakasunod tayo sa Panginoon dahil sa biyaya ng Panginoon at ang lahat sa buhay natin ay mula sa biyaya ng ating Panginoon kung bakit tayo nandito because of the grace of God, because of the mercy of God. You know why we have provision every day? Because of the grace of God. As you wake up in the morning, you experience the great grace of God, the faithfulness of God in your life. Araw-araw sa pag-isip mo, hindi ba dating lahat ng sa Panginoon? We owe obedience to the Lord. Kahit sa ating pagsunod, kaya nga pinsan, parang kung titignan mo, parang gusto pa natin na yung Panginoon ay magpasalamat sa atin. Dapat ang Panginoon ay magpasalamat sa atin. Dahil faithful ako sa Kanya. Yun ba yun? Hindi. We owe obedience to the Lord. We thank God for His great grace. Dahil sa ating pagsunod, pinagpapahala tayo ng Panginoon. We have our task. Salamat sa Panginoon dahil meron tayong responsibility. Magpasalamat tayo sa Diyos dahil pinigyan tayo ng responsibility. Isn't it? What's the use of being alive without responsibility? What's the use of staying here in this world and we are not in the will of God? Ano ba yung gusto ng lahat ng bagay na wala naman yung tao sa paglilingkod at hindi naman siya naglilingkod sa Panginoon? Kaya salamat sa Panginoon dahil binigyan tayo ng pagkakataon na tayo ay maglingkod sa Kanya. Amen? Binigyan tayo ng kalakasan ng Panginoon upang tayo sumunod sa kanyang kalaupan. Salamat sa Panginoon dahil inalaw niya na mapunta tayo dito upang tayo sumamba sa Espiritu at katotohanan. Salamat sa Panginoon. Amen? We owe obedience to God. Sa ating pagsunod, akala mo ba? Sinusunod mo yung kalooban ng Panginoon. Akala mo ba ikaw yun? Hindi. Biyaya yun ng Panginoon. God enabled you to obey Him. He strengthened you to obey Him. Dahil kung sa ating, ulitin ko muli, dahil kung sa ating sarili lamang, wala tayong magagawa. Kaya nga sabi ng isa, ini-enjoy ko na lang yung sarili, sarili ko eh. Kaya nga pag meron akong problema, pumupunta ako doon sa akin yung makaibigan ko na si Kira. Doon ako sasama sa kanila. Ano mo ba kung bakit? Gusto kong mag-enjoy. Gusto kong mag-happy. You know, I want to be happy. Gusto kong mag-enjoy ng buhay ko. Ano mo ba kung bakit? Sarili mo yun eh. The question is, paano makasunod yung sarili mo sa Diyos? Eh hindi na eh. Dahil sa biyahe ng Panginoon, dahil sa kanyang strength, kaya tayo'y nakasunod sa Kanya. 
Dahil sa kanyang dakilang pag-ibig, kaya po araw-araw, devotion is very important eh. Opo. Kaya nga, in one week, meron pa yung feeding program. Ano yung pastor yung feeding program? Oh, meron tayong take the line. Meron yung message sa akin ay salamat pastor, nag-live ka. Then pag di ka nag-live, ay ngayon, nag-tiktok na ko. <laughs> o sige, di ko tiktok lang dyan. Our purpose kasi no, is to teach people to serve about the will of God. Gagamitin ang social media. Sabi ko kay Pastor Jen, sabi ko, gamitin ko yung social media araw-araw to preach the word of God. Monday, Wednesday, sa prayer meeting, and Friday, upang may bahagi ang nakilang salita ng aking Panginoon. Not only that we all obedience to God, we all love to our brethren. Uy, may utang din tayo. Ano yung pastor na kailangan natin gawin that we need to take? For what? To love our brethren. Look at number two. We all love to our brethren. That is in 1 John chapter 3 and in verse number 16. What about us all together ready? Not I know. All together ready? Start. Hereby perceive we love God because He laid down His life for us and we all to lay down our lives for for the brethren. Kailangan din na mahalin natin ang ating kapatid sa Panginoon. Kaya nga po, kung meron kang nakabagka na iyong kapatid sa Panginoon, at kung ikaw rin ay mali, pag di mo ako sa akin, tama po ba? Dahil hindi ko naman kalaban ng kapatid ko eh. Dahil kapatid ko yan sa Panginoon. The enemy is trying to insinuate to one pastor oh, to quarrel, to divide. Kaya kung ang Panginoon ay binigay niya ang kanyang buhay, kahit ang kanyang buhay dun sa cross ng Galvario, eh tayo dapat din na ibigay din natin yung buhay natin at ang ating pagmamahal sa ating kapatid. Tama po ba? Pag yung kapatid mo ay naghihina sa pananampalataya, hindi mo kailangan bang, you know, it is courage. Ang kailangan mo sa kanya ay encourage mo ang kapatid mo. Dahil walang tao dito na sabihin mo, wala ka sa ko, wala matatag ako, matatag ang aking pananampalataya. Pastor Paul, but I want you to know this. Ang pagiging matatag sa pananampalataya, because that is the power of God in your life. Kapag yan rin ang Panginoon sa buhay mo. Kaya kailangan din, you need to pay that one thing. Na mahalin din ang iyong kapatid. Alam mo, walang perfect family. When you talk about family, bakit sa pamilya niyo ba may perfecto? Pero perfect family. Di ba nakuwari din kayo, di ba? Isa may gera din kayo, tama? Oo, tama po ba? Kaya ma, pag may gera kayo, huwag sa Facebook. Ano niya? Sira buhay natin dyan. Social media. Instead na ikaw lang na pinapatid ko nakakalam. Kaya may bumon doon, nakakalam na. Nakakalam doon ang problema na. Tama po ba? Kausapin mo. Humingi ka ng sorry. To express your love sa iyo, kapatid, you need to pray. Kung nagkamali ka rin, I'm sorry. Love covering the multitude of sin. Talaga, Pastor? Yes. Experience ko rin yan. Nagkaroon din ako, nalita ko, ang hayat ko, you know, I remember, during my college time, matagal na ng panahon, Sira ka ng mukha mo. Sabi niya, vengeance na. Kaya nasa Bible school na ako, 
Nagpara sa distribution kami, pumunta kami ng plaza. Akala ko, nung tayo sa ito, mabayit ako. We give trucks. Nag-share ako ng gospel. Ako ang nag-share ng gospel sa kanya. Nung tinanggap niya ang Panginoon sa Kristo na kanyang Panginoon na tagap, pagbita sa kanyang, alam mo ba kung nang sinabi niya? Hindi mo ba alam na yung kasama ko ay doon sa kapila? Gabantayan ka namin. Kita mo ba yung mukha ko? You see the forgiveness? Yung kaaway ko kung share ng gospel, tinanggap yung Panginoon na kanyang Panginoon na tagapagiltas. Ngayon, pag umuwi ako sa bayan namin, kaway-kaway na kami, Brad. Uy, Brad, alin mo sa anak mo? Ay, thank you, kaibigan. Love covenant the multitude that you see. Love covenant pride. Inaalis niyo. Dahil sa pag-ibig. Kaya kailangan hindi mahalin ang iyong kapatid. Hindi mo kailangan pamuhian ang iyong kapatid. Ang kailangan sa kapatid ay pinapanalangin sa pakino. Pag siya ay nagkamali, hindi na kailangan pag-ikuntayin. Ang kailangan sa kanya, i-forgive at ipanalangin sa Panginoon na siya ay makarecover. Amen. Amen. Hindi mo na kailangan pang kasi, naman yun ka kasi. Hindi na yan. Na. Hindi mo kailangan ikuntayin. That is not the expression of true love because true love forgives. Not only that we owe love to our brethren, we owe the gospel to the lost. Tingnan mo, number three. We owe the gospel to the lost. In Romans chapter 1, verse number 14. All together, ready. Lahat tayo, basahin natin. Ready, start. I am never both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, to the wise and to the unwise. Itong sabi ng Pastor Pablo, Kahit ako, ang nagungang. Sa sino? Sa mga griko? Sa mga barbaro? Ano yun? The reason why makikita mo yung commitment niya po sa Paul in terms of the preaching of the gospel. Are you saved? Is that the room? Parang napakaya din ang mga Are you saved? Is that the room? Are you? Kung alam mo, yung bakit niya, kapatid. Ikaw na naman ang kakala niya. You need to share that one to other people. You need to pay. You need to share the gospel. And I'm thankful to the Lord. Because of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I remember nung nandun ako sa hospital. Nung nag-share sa akin ng gospel. Yung dala-dala niya, yung agents ng Bible. Yung group. Then he shared to me the gospel of Jesus Christ. Doon ko tinanggap ang Panginoon sa Kristo na aking Panginoon at aking Kapagilita. Doon nagsimula yung desire ko, bakit gusto ko magpapabag ng study? Bakit tinahanap ko yung, yung tao nyo na mag-share sa akin ng magandang balita? Then naibitahan ako sa church. That was by a Baptist church. Nagaganda ko sa church. Mabag yung pastor nag-preach. Parang ayaw ko nang bumalik. Kasi yung preaching ng pastor, Ba't alam niya yung content ng buhay ko? Hindi ko naman, hindi naman niya alam kung saan ako pumupunta. Wala naman siyang kaalam-alam patungkol sa personal kong buhay. E pag nag-preach sa pulp ito, parang alam niya yung lahat. Kaya tinanong ko sa Bible student. Kung sabi ko, ito alam niya pastor, eh hindi yan alam niya pastor. Hindi ka niya kilala. Bisita ka eh. Di ba pala, pala, Nasasaktan ka ba? Sabi niya, oo. Pinapaalam ng Panginoon sa iyo. Pinapakilala ng Panginoon ng mga bagay na ginagawa ko na hindi ka iaayin sa kanya. Doon nagsimula ko ng kundalang Biblia. Pero noon, yung Bible sa ato ba nila, dito ko nilalagay sa likod. Bakit ko, Pastor? Yan yung experience ko rin na hiyan ko eh. Malay mo yung mga tropa ko, Aba! Pastor na siya. Yung tala sa nang Bible, Bible. Ganun, ganun ba? O, parang kinakatsawan ka. 
Kung lahat ng nagbibilang ako, ginanap mo talaga yung Bible. Then I started to share the gospel. Memorizing verses. Yung unang nagtala sa akin na mag-share ng gospel, si Pastor Jenny Garcia. Yeah, brad, yung engineer na yan. Pastor, but ako, sige na. Pastor, hindi ako marunong, sige na. I will pray for you. Sabi niya, Brad, kapakilala ko sa'yo, si Brad Raymond, pag-share sa'yo ng gospel. O, sige po. Habang ako nag-share ng gospel sa kanya, alam ko, Brad, ang sabi ng Panginoon, ang bayad ng kasalanan ay kamabayan. Hmm? Ito yung inapin sa akin. Alam mo, pag namatay ka, mapukutak sa inferno, pero may dalang mo si Jesus para mapukutak sa langit. Sabi ni Jesus, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Awas na, awas na ako. Ilang verses pa lang. Maya maya, ang sabi ng engineer, sabi niya, ay brad, yung Bible mo maliktan. E na-memorize mo pa lang yung verses. Puso kasi noong pag-sumini ka, dapat yung verse na memorize mo. Para hindi ka nalalakot ba? Then memorize the verse. For the way is of sin, there is none right to slow not one. There is none to seek at our God. There is none right to slow not one. There is none to understand it. There is none to seek at our God. For the way is of sin is dead, but the gift of God is eternal love through Jesus Christ our Lord. And I'll be with you again. Brad, I'm not going to go with Jesus. I'm not going to go with Jesus. That was the first time in my life. And then at the time, then, oh, I will receive Jesus. And I said to him, then he said, prayer to me, sindin mo ako, sindin mo pa na langit. Panginoon, ako mo yung nagsisisi sa aking kasalanan. Tinatanggap kita sa aking puso na aking Panginoon at nagpapagintas. At sa oras niya, damang, damang damang ko yung joy sa puso ko, parang hindi mo mapapunyan ang pera, yung joy na yun. Parang gusto kong tumanon sa oras na yun. For the first time in my life that I shared the gospel of Jesus Christ. Ay sa pati sabi niya, Brad, thank you ha. Saya ng araw ko. Kalain mo. Ang sabi niya siya ng saya ng araw ko. Yung tinanggap niya ang pag-inood na kanyang tagapagigtas. What a joy in your heart pag nagbahagi ka ng magandang balita. And if you know that you are saved, You need to share the gospel. You need to pay. Kaya ang sabi ni Apostle Pablo, I am a debtor, both to the Greeks and to the barbarians. You need to share the gospel. And then ang sabi ni Peter niya, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for this is the power of God and to salvation. So when it will help you to grow in your in your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Ang sulwining ay magpapatuloy ko. We have a spiritual growth. There is only one way to meet the, uh, our liability and that is by infilling and enabling of the Holy Spirit of God. In our own strength, we can never obey God. In our strength, we can never obey God. Love our fellow Christians and discharge our obligation to the lost souls around us, we can only do it as we are filled with the Holy Spirit of God. Magagawa lang pang natin ng ilangan ito if we are filled with the Spirit of God. We must admit our great need na kailangan natin We need to take this one. Not only that one, number two, we must recognize what we have. That is in verse number two. And Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in the house? And she said, Then hand me have not anything in the house, save a pot of oil. 
When this widow confessed her need, Elisha said, Tell me, what do you have in your house? Para mabayaran mo yung kumpang. Ang sabi niya, wala ako eh. Ang meron lang ako, exact, a little oil. Mawala man ang lahat ng mga bagay sa buhay natin. Hindi ang banal na espirito. Look at me in the eye. Mawala man ang lahat ng bagay sa buhay mo. Hindi ang banal na espirito. If you are a Christian, you can say the same. For the Holy Spirit is resident within you. He is resident within every child of God. The moment you believe, He entered your heart. Nung tinanggap mo ang Panginoon sa Kristo na yung Panginoon at nagpagligtas na naan sa'yo ang banal na Espiritu ng Diyos. Na sa'yo na. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse number 13 After you heard the gospel of your salvation, ye are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Ibig sabihin, you are God's property. Tingnan mo, in John, 1 John chapter number 14, and in verse number 16. That is in John, I mean, I'm sorry. That is in John chapter 14, verse number 16. Was I in that? All together, ready? John 14 and verse number 16. All together, ready, start. And I will upon earth, and we shall be one another more that we may abide in you forever. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Look at verse 17. Even the Spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be, what? In you. Kung sa panahon na tinanggap mo ang Panginoon sa Kristo, na yung Panginoon at nagpapagigtas, nasa iyo ang banal na Espiritu ng Diyos. Pastor, nawawala ba ito? In the New Testament period, nung tinanggap mo ang Panginoon sa Kristo na yung Panginoon at nagpapagigtas, ay hindi po yan naari sa iyo. Because you are sealed with the Spirit of God. You are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Yan ang pangako ng Panginoon. You are sealed. In other words, you are God's property. We must therefore recognize what we have. We possess the oil. Every Christian has the Holy Spirit of God. We must recognize what we have. Pastor, what kailangan ko talaga ng mga ko ng kapangyarihan ng banal na Espiritu. Alam mo ba yung karamihan? Naghahanap sila ng lugar para mag-enjoy. Because I want to be happy. Tama po ba? They want joy in their hearts. Even in their lives. They want peace. Tama po ba? Pero yung kinahanap nila ay pagkatapos na mag-enjoy sila na mga nagsandali at yung pagkatapos na balik naman sila muli. But look at the joy. The Bible tells us the fruit of the Spirit is what? What is the fruit of the Spirit? Wow! Memorize na memorize mo. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Long suffering. Meekness. Gentleness. Love. If you are filled with the Spirit of God, you will experience a great love. But even the reason why you need to draw nigh to God, and it may the secret. Nakita mo yan sa post ko kanina. The secret of a Spirit-filled life and empowered 
life empowered by the power of the Holy Spirit? Nakita mo sa post? Hindi mo pa nakita sa post? May post mo sa Facebook, yung quotation na yan. Empowered life by the power of the Holy Ghost. Saan yan, Pastor? In your personal solitude with God. Spend time alone with God. And you will be comforted. If you want a great comfort in life, there is only one answer. Give time to God. Sit down with God and talk to Him and you will experience the great joy in your life. You are the child of God. Amen? You have the promise and God is going to feed you with the Spirit. He will empower you. He will strengthen you. He will bless you. Kailangan na makatayo ay lumapit sa Panginoon. Draw nigh to God and He will draw nigh to you. Yun lang yung kailangan ng isang malalang palataya. Every believer of Jesus Christ to come before His presence. Not only to recognize what we have, let us recognize the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit in our lives. Saan bagay sa buhay natin na yung banal na Espiritu ay wala tayong panahon doon. And sometimes na-reject natin, tama po ba? And sometimes we don't have importance to this. And sometimes wala tayong panahon doon. But I want you to notice, binigayan sa atin ng Panginoon, even the Spirit of Truth, that is in John chapter 14, verse number 17, even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth Him not, neither knoweth Him, but ye know Him. But ye know Him. In what way? Because you receive Him. You receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And then you are, you are empowered with the Holy Spirit of God. You are sealed with the Spirit of the Lord. For He dwelleth with you and shall be in you. In you. Not in them. In you. Nasayo. Kailangan mo ng kaalaman niyan. You need to come to God and ask God, Lord, empower me with the power of the Holy Ghost. I cannot do something in the ministry. Meron ako ministry, Panginoon. Pero di ko magalawa ang ministry nito. I need your power. I need your strength, Lord God, in my life. Lord, it's hard for me to forgive. Empower me with that great love to forgive. Lord, napakayabang ko. Lord, help me to humble myself. You need the great grace of God. Let us learn to recognize what we have. And lastly, we must provide vessels that are empty. Look at it, verse number 3. In 2 Kings chapter 4, and in verse number 3, all together. Ready? Start. Then he said, Go, our own vessels of God of all the angels, even empty vessels, power of man, a few. The Holy Spirit cannot feel our fullness. He waits to feel our emptiness. If we will make full confession to the Lord, we will experience the fullness of the Spirit of God. Alam ko kung bakit hindi tayo na puspos na mapangyarihan ng banal na Espiritu? Alam ko why, why we are not filled with the Spirit of God? Hindi tayo na puno. O kaya na puspos na mapangyarihan ng banal na Espiritu? Dahil puno tayo. May laman. Yung vessel, may laman. Kailangan ng Panginoon yung empty vessel na malinis. Pero kung paano malinis? At paano linisin ang vessel na ito? Yan ang buhay natin. Yung puso mo sa Panginoon. Dahil puno tayo, we are not filled with the Spirit of God. 
Because, meron lang man. Ano yung nandun? Ha? Gusto niyo bang tanggapin ito? Amen? Hello? Medyo, ano ito matigas to the quality? Okay na ba? Amen? Amen? Para kaya niyong pakinggan niya na. Amen? Amen. Hmm, sakit ng tingin niya. <laughs> Amen po ba? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ano po ba? Ano yung puno tayo ng ano? Puno tayo ng self. Yeah. We are not filled with the Spirit of God. It's because mayroon naman. Puno tayo ng self. The Holy Spirit can only fill empty, clean vessels. Kaya ang titignan mo, ano yung nasa naman ng puso ko? Ano yung nandun? Kung pagpastan mo, yung puso mo ay punong-puno yan ng sarili mo, full of self, full of our own ability, and full of sin, yung nandyan sa puso natin. Tama po ba? Tandaan mo rin ba yun? That sometimes, more of our self. Sa sarili lamang lahat, wala sa Panginoon. Kahit nga po sa gawain eh, yung Panginoon. Yung mira ng sarili. Kaya nga po, kahit sa gawain, nag-ingat din na yung sarili lamang ang umiiral. Hindi ang kapangyarihan ng Panginoon. Alam mo ba, bakit ka mabilis ba discouraged? Hindi ka lang na-appreciate. Discouraged ka na. Tama po ba? Because of yourself. But if you allow the Lord to work in your life, and it is not because of yourself, but because of the power of God, you come into this care stone, the more you recognize the Lord in your life. A full of sin, kasalanan, yung nandun, puno tayo ng kasalanan. Yung puso natin, parang, ano yun eh, parang garbage can, yung puso natin. Hala, yung mundo, lahat-lahat nandun eh. Hindi po ba? O lahat ng kasalanan. The pride of life. The lust of the flesh. The lust of the eyes. Halos lahat to ulit. Tinatagpak sa puso natin. Because of what? Because of our perception. The things that we perceive. Ayan. Because there are three things in the mind. And it is connected in our mind. There are three things in the mind. We have what? We have the intellect, we have the emotion, and we have the volition. And yet, pag nakita mo yung mga bagay na yan, that speaks of your perception. Ayan, nakarecord na yan. Lahat ng pagkakamali mo, lahat ng kasalanan mo, sa bagay ng anjo na lahat. Napupuno tayo ng kasalanan. Araw-araw yan. Huwag mong sabihin sa akin ha. Araw-araw, di ka nagkakamali. Tama po ba? Lalo na yung republika? Ay, lumalabas yung ibang kulay. Sumasabok yung yung kibla. Lalo na pag nagagalit ka. Lalo na pag nag-HP ka. Ano po ba? Ano pa sa rin HP? Yung high blood. So on and so forth. And the question is this, how can the loving spirit feel an unloving heart? How can the gracious spirit feel a proud heart? A proud heart. And how the tender spirit feel a selfish heart? How can the fruitful and truthful spirit feel a deceitful heart? And how can the Holy Spirit feel an unholy heart? Paano po puno rin yan? Because that is an unclean vessel. Paano yan mapuspos na kapangyarihan ng Banal na Espiritu? Dahil ang lahat ng nandun ay uncleanness. Second Corinthians chapter 7 and in verse number 1. We are now closing all together reading start. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, 
perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Eh, pastor, kailangan pala natin linisin ang ating sarili. Pero hindi mo kaya linisin ang yung sarili. Paano? Look at in 1 John chapter 1 and in verse number 7. All together, ready start. But if we walk in the light, as He is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from our sin. Ano pala yung makalimis sa atin? Ang dugo ng ating Pagkakaroon Kristo. And the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from our sin. Pinakanta ko ito, palagi. Pag mag-BF ako, Ano yung Pastor Pia? Prayer and fasting. If we walk, no? Sabagat hindi ko kaya linisin ang aking sarili. Meron ba ang tao? Kakaya ha? Na linisin yung kanyang sarili? Wala. Ang dugo lamang ng Pakinuloy sa Kristo. Pero paano tayo linisin? At paano maging malinis ang buhay natin? Lalo na as a vessel to the ministry of the Lord. Look at in 1 John chapter 1. And in verse number 9, both together we start. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. To pour out. What does it mean? When you say about confess, we are talking about pour out. He pour out to Him at sa Paginoon. Kaya nga, ang sabi sa babae, empty vessel. Linisin mo the empty vessel. At lalagyan ng oil that speaks of empowerment. That the power of the Holy Spirit will empower your life. Will strengthen your life. You, it fills your life. Ang kapangyarihan ng balang na Espiritu so sa iyong buhay. Ang kailangan mo lang, i-pour out ito. Huwag mong itago ang lahat ng kasalanan na meron ka. If we pour out lahat din sa Panginoon, you need to confess. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just. He is a just God to forgive us our sins. Kaya nga po, meron word na just. Ilabrin ko ng konti. Ang word na just, it speaks of justice. Kaya kung meron mang discipline ang Panginoon dahil sa iyong kasalanan, accept it and give thanks to God. Dahil sa pamamagitan nun, ay natututo ka. Amen. Amen. At magpasalamat sa Panginoon and to cleanse us from some, hindi all, all unrighteousness. Sa lahat mong karumihan, patatawarin ka ng Panginoon. What you need to do is to pour out everything to the Lord. Come to the Lord. What can be, what can be masaya sa kasalanan? Love God above all things and hate sin. Because God is the God of justice. If you love the Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, then God is going to bless your life. God's going to empower you, to strengthen you, to bless your life. Why? Because of the power of the Holy Spirit in your life. That is importunity. It's important to be careful of your life. To be malinis of your life day-to-day sa the Lord. A clean vessel for God's ministry. That's how the power of the Holy Spirit manifests in your life. The oil is the emblem of the Spirit of God. And the people say, Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your great grace. Thank you, Lord, for your